Let's go without any further ado to our customers, our callers, our guests. Greetings and good night. Yeah, good night. Can I speak to Majesty? Of course, you're speaking to Majesty. How can I help you? Yeah, I would like a call with him. Okay. Have you done it before? No, it's the first. I'm whole long. Wow, it's the first, Majesty. And you've been you've been waiting for how many years? Yes, man. Uh, there you go. That's so right. So what yeah. don't happen in what don't happen in twenty years happens in one night, right? Oh, that is true. Yeah. So let's do it right now. Call any number in the range of one to ten. Five. Hold on. Come again. Nine. Come again. One. Come again. Six. Come again. Three. Come again. Seven. Come again. Uh, four. That's it, okay? Yeah. When is your birth date? 25th of March, 1965. You're born March 25, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 1965? Yeah. Okay. Now, according to the people in the East, like the Chinese or so, yeah. you're born the year of the snake, okay? Yeah. That means you have the wisdom of the snake. Now, the people born the year of the snake are known to be Basically, the wisest people in the world. The Bible says that, that one should be as wise as a serpent. Yeah. Yet harmless as a dove, right? Yes, man. Yes, okay, man. so most people would believe that the snake is a wicked thing. Oh, my God. But yeah. it's, really, it's really a wise thing, you know? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I mean, most people who read the Bible will say that uh, Adam and Eve took advice from the wicked serpent. Yes. And they bite a, f- a fruit that they shouldn't bite, right? Okay, yeah. But the reasons given given to, to not bite the fruit is a weird reason. Yeah. They were told not to bite this fruit because it would make them wise. Yeah. Right? Like the gods, right? Yeah. But that is the idiot reason to tell a child don't eat something, you know. That's a true. That's a fool, fool reason to tell a man don't eat something, you know. Yeah, man. The whole story true. is that idiot story. Yeah. Written by somebody who think that to the end of time everybody gonna be a jack donkey. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So it was really a wise idea to bite the fruit, you know. Because then they, then they realized that they were full fool because they realized that they were naked. Yes. And anybody yes. who naked and don't know him naked him full fool, not true. Yeah, why not true. So, Good. True. so you know people just write stories in holy books and people run with it like like if it is something real. Yes. Sir. It is just a story. Yeah. Snakes don't talk. True, man. And most True. importantly, the first people created had to be black people, right? Yeah. There's no black woman under the sun that will walk away, leave her husband, and go and chat to no snake. Okay? No, no. True. If a black woman see a lizard, she run and scream. Yeah. A worm, she gone left that. Yes, man. Forty legs, she gone left that. Why would she go chat to a snake? Something so long and slimy. Right? Uh, yeah, Something so. that crawl her skin. So. so you know the story is downright lie. So. Because your sister now do that. Right? So, so. But we know one thing for sure. It was a wise idea to bite the fruit because then the people, their eyes were open according to the story. Yes. And you don't need to be walking around blind. No. You I... need your eyes to be open, right? Yes, ma'am. There yes, you ma'am. go. Yes, ma'am. No, your prayer time is yeah. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So every morning between 9 o'clock and 11, yeah. it is important that you meditate. Now, some people, you got, you got some people right now who don't pray anymore, you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, if a man says don't pray, you mustn't get vexed with him, you know. That's true, yeah. That true. is his thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't expect everyone to have the same concept of living. Yeah. But at least a one should meditate. Really? Yeah, you know? man. 
How you can yeah. get yourself together mentally and spiritually if you don't do not form a meditation? Foc focus on what you come on earth to do. Focus on what your chores are. Focus on what you need to achieve. Sure, sure. You don't sure. want to pray fine, but at least meditate. Yes, sure. And yeah. what do you meditate on? Meditate on the positive force. Sure, you sure. won't call it God, fine, but this is the positive force, right? Yeah. The first card that comes for you is a card called Temporary, suggesting that you have been on Earth many times. Oh my! You ever, you ever dream you find yourself in some strange, some strange lands? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so, you know. Yeah, man. You may at least once in your life dream that you find yourself someplace strange, but that is a flashback from a past yeah. life yeah. experience, from a past yeah. existence. Okay. Yeah. Your second card here now is the Empress. You have a wife? No. You have a girlfriend? Not yet. All right. Well, hear me now. You're going to get something resembling something like that. <laughs> a good really? female will come into your life. So All I know. ask is that you treat her with the utmost care and respect. So really? That's yeah, not man. too much to ask. Yeah, man. For somebody to make you more lively and comfortable in life sure, remember sure. a man who don't have a female he will always feel like half of a man right yeah, yeah, you man, don't I feel whole at all because a whole entity is really a pair yeah any person who don't have a a member of the opposite sex in their corner feels like a half of an entity they don't sure. feel like a whole Sure. That is how we know that if there's a God, there must be a goddess. Sure. That is how we are sure that if there wasn't no queen, there wouldn't be no king. Yeah. And that is how we know if there were no empress, there wouldn't be no emperor. Yeah. And that's why we are sure if there was no woman, there would be no man. Yeah. That is why when you meditate or prayer, you should meditate on not only God, but a goddess as well. Sure, sure. Whether holy books agree with me or not, that is holy books' problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. What about your own common sense? We not slaves no longer. No, sir. So we need to start thinking of our own accord, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have another card here now called the chariot. You plan to buy a car? Yes, man. You got any money put down yet? No, borrow never borrow the money, you know. Borrow the money? How yeah, are you going to pay back the borrow, borrow money? We have, we have tax to go on to run. My brethren, you're going to get the car. Yeah, man. Right? Yeah, man. I can only suggest, though, that a Toyota would be a good thing. Yeah. You like Toyotas? Toyota, yeah. yeah it, it would be a good thing. I find them very durable for that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. You have another car here now. And it's called love. That means that you soon find yourself in love, you know? Yes, man. I know that, man. Yeah. Make sure you can handle the thing, you know, because... What do you mean, man? <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you can't handle the thing, the man them out there on the wall going to laugh at you, you know. I see you're not going to have nothing. Can't handle the thing, man. What do you mean, man? All right, all right. I mean, no Joe Grant can have a, 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 keep an eye on you, so you better make sure that your performance yeah. is up there. Yeah, man, yeah, right. man. Okay, okay. You have another card here now, and it is the devil, but it come upside down. Which means that in the not-so-distant past, someone tried something against you, you know. Can I repeat? In the not-so-distant past, yeah. some idiot tried something against you. Choo, 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 but him, choo, but, but him, but him failed miserably. He failed, man. Him feel miserably. Feel, feel and get crazy. My brethren, my brethren. He feel and get crazy. My that brethren. Run you have another card here now called gain, which means that you cannot lose off this, off this sister in that God can, well, you can't lose off this woman that Mother Nature going to send to you. So. Sure. Now, I'm urging all males who want females, Right? Yeah. To pray and ask the chief feminine principle to send 
a female. In other words, pray and ask Mother Nature so, to send one of her daughters. So, it is written that God made man, right? Yeah. All right. But it is common sense that the goddess made woman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because the Bible say, and the Lord said, let us make man in our image, right? Yeah. So who you think he was talking to? If a man said, let us make man, that man is most likely talking to his woman and said, let's make a baby. Yeah, man. Please. Right? Mm-hmm. You get it? Yeah, man. Now, when I was very young, I asked my mother who God was talking to when he said, let us make man. Yeah. And my mother, my mother told me it was Jesus, his son. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I couldn't argue with my mother because she was a Sunday school teacher and she must know. But as I grew older, I realized that that is a Mickey Mouse answer. Because yeah. no two males cannot create life. Yeah. They can't create germs, you know. Can't, yeah, man, really, As we have yeah. seen, you know, but they can't create life. So yeah. God can be asking him, son, to let's make man. He got to yeah. be asking his goddess, let's make humanity. Yeah. And him make the males and she make the females. So why holy books can't print that? Why them can't print that in holy books? Because, <laughs> because they either don't know the truth or they don't want to know the truth or they don't want us to know the, the truth. truth. But we truth. see the proof. Yeah. And the proof gone through the roof. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. But you know, if you go certain places and tell certain religious people that, then try to lick out your tooth, you know? Yeah, man, for real. They wouldn't like that proof. For real. Yeah, but woman is no lesser than man. Woman and man are equals. Yes, man is the head, right? Mm-hmm. You agree that man is the head, not true? Yes, man. So what role do you think women play? Well, the role of women play, you know, inside the womb, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, listen, yeah. man is the head Yeah. of the house, right? Him is the head, right? Yeah. But woman is the neck. Even okay. King man, yeah. the head yeah. can't turn out the neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let man go and boast about him as the head. And let him go on not listening to woman and see how far they're going to take him. Mm-hmm, sure. Okay? Sure. Because if a man really choose wisdom, he will choose the path of honoring the woman's word as well. Sure. Okay? Yeah. You want to see a difference? Give a man $100,000 to go shopping and give a woman 100000 I sit down mm-hmm. under one tree and wait till them come back and see what happened. The woman come back with half the money and she got all her things, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, man, that's all. So and the brethren come back broke. Come back broke. And they don't get nothing to show for him money. Don't get that. He probably will give away a fraction of that to some girl down the road. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah, man. No, so I'm so. not going to come on national radio and tell you that men fool fool. But I can tell you mm-hmm. one thing. Mm-hmm. If we know fool fool, we know too far from it. <laughs> yeah. Alright? Yeah. I'm not allowed to say that we fool fool, you know. Yeah, I can funny. tell if we're not fool fool, we're not far from it. We're not far from it. Come, I don't hear about no great woman get overthrown by the man. A pure great man get overthrown by woman. Yes. Whether it be yes. Clinton, Solomon or Samson. Yes. But hold on, there's more. You have a card here now called satisfaction. Which means not only will you find her, but there'll be great satisfaction in this yeah. beautiful attraction. Oh, and yeah, see, yeah. you see, you should see the neighbor's reaction. Because hmm? when the man. neighbors see who and what you get, you know that the man up on the wall going to be saying, wait, well, how come him get her? Why it wasn't me? You know what I mean? True, true. Yeah, let true, them man. go on grin like, what do they say? Grin them teeth like kidney fur? <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. So now, do you have a question? Yeah, you know, I like, I know about my, my, my daughter, you know. How much daughters you have, King? One. You got one daughter? Yeah. Really? How old is yeah. she? She has 40, 40, 40. So, you and, her, you, so you, you and her don't talk? Yes, me and her talk, but not much, you know. No, no, there's an issue. What happened between you and her? 
You, you, you rough her up? Yeah, man. To get her to learn book? Yeah. But that doesn't work, you know. But you know now that that don't work, right? Yes, I think so. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Because what happened now? Listen, you see, children, mm -hmm. they're not here to be roughed up. Sure. They're here to be guided. Remember, a man is not here to lead a woman. He's here to be her guide. Okay? Yeah. Now, to guide a person, even if it's your child, you can only guide her with, with understanding. So you have yeah. to guide her with love, but you rough her up. Yeah, man. So you made a very expensive mistake. A mistake that costs you for life. Now, okay. what you need to do, you need to write her a letter mm -hmm. and let her know how you regret what you have done. Okay? Yeah. Ask her. Don't, don't, don't be too big. Just ask her forgiveness. That's the only play you got left on the board. Life is like a, is a game, you know. And every yeah. move you make is a play. Now you make a yeah. bad play this so. She, okay. give thing, she, 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 she give me things, she give me things, whenever I ask, no majesty. Yes, but you're still, but there's still things that you fail to tell her. Yeah. You know that you roughed her up, but you never really apologize, you know, because you say, but me is her father, me is her parent, she must understand. Yeah. But she never must understand. That's true, yeah. You need to put that in writing, my Bridget. Yeah. And you need to ask her to forgive you before you find yourself wearing pampers, my Bridget. Sure, sure. Because if you find yourself wearing pampers, you know, you're going to be in deep doo-doo, you know. Because, because the main person who takes care of a father is his daughter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Think about that. Yeah, man. So you need to write her. You, you can write, right? Yeah, man. So write this sister in a letter and deliver it to her yourself and ask yeah. her to please read it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I that that's what I would do. I would have humbled myself. You don't have no okay. other play upon the board. Okay. And if she rough you, take the roughage with a smile. Because yeah. if she rough you, it means that she gets something off her chest and it's gonna be nice after that. Yeah man. Yeah. So don't feel if she rough you. You gonna have to just take that because you did rough her first and what goes wrong needs to come wrong. Oh, that's law. Yeah, that's law. Yeah. That's like what going up have to come down. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Because when we go where she is, you know, when we go where she is, and my little grandchild, and I said, is this grandchild going to bring me back? Now? Like, she get upset, so what kind of fool is she that? Me, I tell her. You ask her what? No, I said that when we were my little grandchild, uh -huh. I ask her, me, me say that, is this little one going to try me back? In the world, you know? No, it would not. No, it would not be that one to bring her back in the world. It would be that child's child's child child. So that would be that child's great 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 grandchild. Okay. Then would be you. You cannot come back as your great grandchild. That be too, you become back too quick. Okay. You got to be okay. on the other side, welcoming home your daughter, your grandchild, and your great grandchild. Before oh. you're allowed to come back in, okay? Okay, okay. There's a reason yeah. why you got five fingers on every hand and five toes on every foot. Five yeah. is the official number of returning. It is also yeah. the number of the priesthood, number 555. Five, five. So we are returning residents to this realm every five generations. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you made a suggestion that she wouldn't know how to answer. Yeah. It'd be best if you had explained to her that it is your that that the elders have said that we return because we have a child who will 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 have a child, and then that brings us back in. Okay. Yeah. That is how you explain it. Okay. Yeah, man. But I do know if you take time off, you see the thing is. The snake person, or in the African world, we call you Fadil. Yeah. Now, when the book of Fadil hit the streets, try and grab the book of Fadil 
it will come out probably sometime in the in, in the in the in the early next year, right? Okay, January, February. One of those months. But the book okay. of Fadil is about you, your prototype. Right? Yeah, because because me not forget things, you know. Me hear you talk that all the while, you know. Yes. Me the, not forget things. Not your whole long. The Fadil people, they are very wise, but they do not communicate well. They they don't talk much, you know. No, 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 no. So they hold a lot of things on the inside. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. So because of that, no, they can they can get the bitter end of the stick. You know, if somebody see a snake, the first thing them think about is killing it. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, that's very unfortunate because some snakes are very beautiful, but which black person will see the beauty in a snake? Yeah. I'm too busy being afraid of it. Yeah. You get it? Yeah, man. But great beauty can be expressed in simplicity, in, in words, you know? Yeah. In explaining yourself. That's when you really bring out your beauty, okay? Yeah. But don't worry. For I say unto you, everything will work out fine. Just talk to your daughter and please let her know that you really regret all the roughage that you rough her when she was young. Okay. Just let her know you really regret. That will help you and it will help her. Yeah. You take it easy now. All right. Take care. Blessed, my brother. And thanks for calling. Yeah, blessed. Blessed. Yeah. You take a break and be right back with you. Don't go away. This is Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. You're listening to Radio Jamaica. It's our final lap in a super amazing run of our high school tour, Teen Accelerate. And guess where our final stop will be? Manabrook High School. Adjust your dials, get comfy, and join us as we highlight the exceptional talents of the Manabrook High School. In a super amazing run of our high school. Really regret. That will help you and it will help her. Yeah. You take it easy now. All right, take care. Blessed, my brother. And thanks for calling. Yeah, blessed. Blessed. Yeah, yeah, it is now 12.31. Now, my last caller, who was really my first caller, <laughs> he was born March the 25th, 1965. Now, a human being born on the 25th day of any month in the year, and nobody cannot succeed in working witchcraft on him it's just not going to work because 25 is the official number of protection from that kind of madness let me do what 25 actually say 25 a number of prophetic dreams and visionary sight it guards you against the evils of black magic a number giving strength and endurance against great obstacles. Therefore, you will overcome trouble, overcome money worries, and overcome illness. Successful in the face of strife because of courage, you will develop a strong will power to guarantee a rich future. The point is, we go to school and they teach us how to juggle numbers, but they don't teach us what the numbers are about. The power and energy of numbers. Why? Because our the teachers at school have no idea what a number means. The principals at schools have no idea what the numbers mean. The chancellors at the biggest universities in the world do not know what the numbers mean. So after studying and spending a bag of money and spending years at university, technically after all that, you still come out and Swimming in a pool of un, of classic unknowingness. Thinking that you are here to help solve the world's problems. Not realizing that you were not given the handle of the door that needs to be opened to solve those problems. That, my friend, is very sad. So, hopefully and prayerfully... 
the next few generations of students will decide to opt for wisdom and not just knowledge. Wisdom is seldom taught at places of higher learning. Just imagine if wisdom was taught alongside knowledge. What kind of young people we would have with what kind of brain? With what kind of outlook? We will be building empires, not just building ghettos. Empires we will be building. Let us arise. Instead of blaming Europeans for what they have done, let's get up and do something about it. Learn. Figure out what needs to be learned and go for it. And build empires. It's like a man build a wall. Why spend time knocking down his wall? Build a higher wall so you can look over at him. This, my friends, is wisdom unveiling. Let's return to our phone lines now. Greetings. Good night. Good night. Good night. I would like a card reading. Yes. Now, what you told me just now, you remember what you said just now? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Want a car before you I said, would like... no, before you said that. Oh, good night. You said good night. Yes. No, you said night. Oh, okay. You never said good, you know. I didn't say good. No. Oh. You sorry, know, most yeah. Jamaicans don't want to use the word good. Yes. They say morning. Morning. Night. night. Evening. No, we need to get rid of that. You know, we need yeah. to. Yeah, we need to greet with goodness. Not true. Sure, no, I grew I grew up in Barbados, right? Yes. In Barbados, if somebody don't like you, they will tell them, friend, you see that dirty boy, Harry? The only thing I have for that dirty boy is morning. Yes. Which means they don't mean you no good none at all. No. But out of courtesy, they'll say morning. True. But they wouldn't say good morning. Yes. So in the future, always use the word good with your greeting. Yes. Help yes. make the world a better place because you're... Wishing the other person a good night, a good day, a good morning. So now you want to get a reading done, right? Yes. What kind yeah. would you want? You get a name reading or a card reading? A uh, card reading. Let's do it. You ever did it before? No. Really? Well, let's do it now. One. Come again? Nine. Hold on. Come again? Seven. Come again. Three. Come again. Six. Come again. Four. Come again. Two. There you go. When is your birthday? 28th September. 28th of September. What year? 1978. 1978. Now, first of all, you're born on the 28th day. You ever been to court? Yes, I have a court issue right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, don't tell me what it's about, right? Please. No. That is, you know. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing. You are in trouble. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Um, hmm. Give me a call off air sometime, okay? Okay, I do that tomorrow. My number is 844-2295. 844-2295, yeah. okay. Okay? okay but then. I want to remind you, though, that 28 reflects the loss of a lawsuit involving money. A great promise going to waste because of you making the mistake of trusting too many people. Yes. So you can have yeah, to learn to true. you can have to learn to pull up your socks, my brother. Yes, I always trust people, too many people. Yeah, you have to learn to pull up your socks. All right. Yes. Cause if you don't pull up your socks, my granny said, if you don't pull up your socks, then your socks can trip you up, make you fall down, and must bust up your face. Right. Y yeah. You get it. Yeah. Yes, I get it. Yes. You ever see someone you, someone put on socks, but them foot only halfway in the socks. So you got a a long piece of socks. Hanging out on the front. Yes. You imagine if the other foot stand up on that sock, you know the person will fall down, right? Yes, that's right. So you have yes. to 
pull up your socks, which means get your house, get your mind, your brain, and your house in order. See? Yes. Now, you're born in 1978. Right. That means if you turn into an animal, you know what animal you would be? No. You would be a horse. Oh, okay. You're born in the year of the horse, my brethren. That means you have the wisdom and the ways of a horse. Yeah. The problem with the horse is that the horse can't turn one place. The horse moves too, the horse moves too fast. Always on the gallop. Yeah. It is important that you take time and enjoy the scenery and the view while you on your trotting, you know? You're right. Instead okay. of moving too fast, all right? Yeah. Your first card here though is the ace of energy. How old you are now? Um, 45. Do you have a son? Didn't give in to me. My it Bridget. was put in red. You, you get well. somebody pregnant and make a boy baby, right? Yes. But what, did the woman had a man at the time? Yes, she did. So you went and plant pumpkins for another man territory, and then you can't reap them, my Bridget. Yes. Did you learn from that? Well, I live with the past. Good. Yeah. How old is that son now? Um, I think about 13, 14. Uh, has you ever met him? I was along with him to about two years. Then I, she decided to move, and I um, decided to bring her to court to get, um, to get visiting rights, and she disappeared with the child. Yeah. Do you know why that befell you, why that, all that happened to you? No, I'm not sure. Well, let me explain. It is a law that no evil deed goes unpunished. Yeah. And no good deed goes unrewarded. Now, in your past lifetime, when you were the female and she was the male, right? Yes. You stole the seed. In yeah. this lifetime, she steal it back from you. Yeah. So you paid a debt of karma. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And another man gone with that. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad, but it is a price that you had to pay. Okay. So you have to learn to take your beating, my bridge. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Okay. Yeah. No, it is written in their holy book that when you die, you're going to lay down and sleep till somebody blow one trumpet and then you can get up. I wipe off your mouth and yawn and maybe let go of whatever, a burp or whatever, and then next trumpet gonna blow and you get caught up in the sky and ray ray, right? Yeah. All that is Mickey Mouse, my Bridget. Everything we do, we have to pay for that. So if we yeah. come back in the next lifetime and pay for what we have done. Okay? Yeah. Do you know why we got so much crime and violence? Because people don't know that they're gonna have to pay for what they've done. So them do it because they don't know they have to pay. Right. Worse yet, you know, religion tell them that them can do it. Just check Jesus. And he love friend and company so much that it doesn't matter what you do to whoever, he going to accept you and love you because you check him. Right? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm getting it. But we have yeah. to pay for everything you do. When you waste the water from JPS, when you waste the light from JPS, and waste the water from the National Water Commission, them forgive you. Yeah. But at the month end, them send you a bill. You got to pay for that. Yeah. So Jesus can forgive you all him want. You got to pay for that. You get it? Right. Yeah. So hear me now. Just take it easy. You had a rough start, but you got good times coming in the future. Just take it easy, right? Okay. You have another yeah. card here now called success, which means that some success going to reach you, you know, my region. Okay. A piece of success is going to reach you and make you really more than smile. You're going to laugh out. You'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Yes, yes. You see this year coming up, the next year? It looked good, but you have right. to try and get over this court case thing. Yes. This court case thing is not a simple road. All right? Yes. But call me and tell me about it tomorrow. So, All right? Okay, yeah. I do that. You know, if you, if, if you even text me, that wouldn't yes. vex me nor perplex me. All right? <laughs> okay. All right. You have another right. card here, so don't call the star. No. Do you have a daughter? <sighs> it was actually the same situation. Well, mm -hmm. no, it, well, there was, well, actually,
actually the same situation like the one before. Mm-hmm. But I thought I thought that um, it was um, going to give it to me because I thought it was me only then. There at the time. You know, you made some expensive mistakes in your past lifetime, it. you know. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You made some expensive mistakes because you, you tend to move too fast. Okay. You tend to leap before you look. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's true. So, so true. you you lost double, you know. Yeah. Jan no star. You have yeah. another card here now, and it's the Emperor. What happened to your daddy? He died. What happened he to your daddy? Um, he was hit down by a car first, and then uh, he ended up with his with cancer afterwards. Your daddy want you to know that he's fine, okay? Okay. He's in, a, in another realm with the ancestors and him cool, right? Yes. But he's sorry he never really got the chance to really talk to you, you know? Okay. You know him never really talked to you? No. He that's never very, really talked That's to very me. sad, you know, Bridgerin? Yes. That's very, very sad. <laughs> yes. So technically him lose you too. Right. Mm. Well, I may tell you bigger. See, most people tend to believe that they have a longer life to live than what they have. Yes. And when they get cut off now, that's it. Uh, don't go to the you'll find yourself in the netherworld quite sad, you know? Yes. Don't let that happen to you. Be conscious and cautious in your future, okay? Okay. You have another card here, so now called the Hermit. It says that you will live. Alone for a while. Yes. You live alone? Yes, I am. Uh, Bridget. That while is a while, but you will overcome. Okay. But uh, there's a certain while you have to live alone in order to pass a certain test yes. that you failed to pass in your past lifetime, okay? Oh, okay. It's just a test, my Bridget. You have another card here now called the priestess. It shows a woman in wedding gown, my brethren. So stop thinking that you're an old man. You're going to get married. Okay. Did you say that you will never get married? <sighs> I I, I, I uh, did before. Well, don't talk such rubbish again. Don't put no curse upon yourself like that. Yes. Yeah. Okay? I did before, but not the work, you know. Something yeah. Like Listen, just ask Mother Nature, yes. who is the Supreme Goddess, to send you the one. And thank Father Time, which yes. is the God of the universe, for giving you the time that you can really spend with the one when she comes. Okay. Okay? Yes. yes. We get all kind of Mickey Mouse um, analogies about who God is. Oh, God is a spirit. God is this. God God is time. Okay. Simple. Can you create something without time? Can you create a smile on your face without time? You need at least a split second of time just to put a smile on your face, you know? (laughs) Yes, yes. And your, your mother did bear you for nine months in her belly and then you claim that God made you. No, time made you. Time right. is the Godhead, my Bridget. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And nothing yeah. can make without nature. So, between time and nature, you were sent to earth. See? Don't feel no way about the beatings that you've gotten. Just learn. Yeah. So that you can instruct younger people of what not to do. Okay. Because you did do some crap, my Bridget. Yeah. And when you get that queen, make sure you treat her with absolute respect. Okay. Do not shout at her. And for God's sake, don't hit her. No, that's not in my book. Yeah. Yeah. Never. And if a woman force you to hit her, leave that woman immediately. Yeah. But that's a devil. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you will hit her again and hit her again, and she'll turn you into what you were not meant to become. Yeah. So once you hit her, leave her. Don't okay. go back there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. But make sure you don't hit her, you know, because you lose the game. Yes. Yes. You have another card here, so no call the priest. It says that sometimes you feel as though you're cursed, but you're not. <laughs> okay. You're actually blessed, but you have the need to overstand your blessing. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Blessing come in you accepting reality as is. Yeah. You used to get headaches? Yes. How is it now? You used to get headaches a lot. How is it now? It's not too bad. I used to have headache every day. Yeah, One, but but it's not there much again. So what you did, what you did to to cure that? I, I tend to change my my um, eating habit. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's but something to learn. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I don't know if that's what. Um, maybe maybe I have to ask you because you were supposed yeah. to be getting migraine headaches right now, and that not happening. That means that yeah, you did something I used to right. Have it like every day, like I used to have it. I used to have a time I head up. Bridget, you know, kind of Bridget. Give thanks. You see, you're a teacher, but you don't know. Yeah. Let you just teach me something. Yeah. That I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what yeah. we're here for. We're angels sent to teach each other. No man don't have no monopoly upon wisdom, my Bridget. Yeah, that's true. All we get a little slice of the thing. It's like a yeah. big jigsaw puzzle, and each we get a piece of the puzzle. We got to yeah. come together and put the pieces together, right? Yeah. And instead of cussing one another, we have to learn to just love one another and praise each other. Yeah. King man, yeah. better days are coming for you. Oh, good. And for those of you who are getting headaches still, change your eating habits. Yeah. Some people eat too late at night. Yeah. Stop doing that. Yeah. And for those of you who want to know what herbs good for that, you get a herb named chamomile and another herb named fever few. If you make a tea with an equal amount of the two of them, that is a tea that could actually cure migraine headaches. That's the fever grass. No, not fever grass. Fever, fever few. few. Okay. It's not even a grass, it's a herb. It's a herb, okay. If you go to a certain herbal shop, you could probably get it. Or you can go up on the internet and order it. Or let somebody bring it to you from any herbal shop or foreign. Yes. Okay? Okay. King Man. Any yeah. questions? Uh, All right. Yeah. You know your prayer time? Okay. No. Well, that's the chief question you must always ask. Ask yeah. God's phone number, which is your prayer time. Right. Okay? Yeah. Your prayer time is midday. Because you okay. from the house of Gamba, which means you're born yeah. the year of the horse. Okay? Right. So your prayer time is 11 a.m., to 1 p.m. midday. If you pray at 12 o'clock, you sell off, right? Yeah. But wait, there's more. Your direction of power is south. So you face yourself. You'll be facing yeah. your guardian angel. He appears at exactly 11 o'clock and leaves at exactly 1 o'clock every day. Okay. All right? Yeah. And make sure that you ask for your queen to show up. Yeah, okay. okay. Because... A daughter is owed to you. You still have a daughter to get. Yeah. So don't give up. But I bought it done. I can't answer that right now. Okay. I can only tell you what the spirit said at the time. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I suppose you get a son if you deserve one. Yeah. But a daughter is sure. A son is a maybe, but the right. daughter is perhaps will be the, the another baby. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now you take it easy now. All right. Now call me when you get that chance. Yes, I The will. number is 876-844-2295. Take it easy. Okay, thanks. Bless it. Bless it. This is Wisdom Unveiling.